Good morning, guys. Uh, a short video on uh, my view on the markets. Um, so it has corrected to $6,150, if I'm correct, uh, Bitcoin, and is now back up to $8,000. Um, and I think that um, um, I don't dare to buy yet. I took out about 20% of my portfolio. I put into fiat uh, about... Um, um, so, so I was about 85% in crypto and I brought it down to 65% when the market was around 550 billion, 600 billion. Um, but these, prof I, these I consider like lifetime profits. I succeeded as an investor and, um, and uh, I made uh, good money and I don't want to lose that again. Um, so I'm not going to risk that very easily in the crypto markets. Um, and so I think the biggest risk here uh, also is that we're going to underestimate, of course, the bear market, just like we always underestimate the bull market. I mean, some people don't underestimate the bull market. They stay long all the time. But usually these people at the same time fall with the bull market as they never sell. And uh, But they are also often in like just also think it's going to go higher, higher, higher. And so, uh, and that's a trap to fall into easily. Eh? Um, um, so you're either too soon, too late. It's very, very difficult to time these things um, um, in a bull market and a bear market is the same. So um, we just started with a bear market. It looks like it is a bear market. Uh, and, 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 and so uh, we're only one month in. Uh, so a bear market will take at least six months uh, and so we, we might bounce a little bit higher from the, the new low of 6,050 we might go to who knows 10,000, 12,000 uh, but then it might uh, there's, a, there's a good chance for that to happen a good bounce now uh, because we went down basically uh, straight from 18,000 to 6,000 so it was a big drop the past month. So you can have a strong bounce to say eh, half of it recovered back from six to 12, say. Uh, but then you, it's most likely we're gonna get a new fall to a new low. Um, and, and so um, I was saying that I think the bear market will be sh uh, strong but short. And I'm starting to change my mind about the short part. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I, I think that, um, well, it is certainly possible we get actually three bull markets after each other. We got one bull market in 2011, uh, then it collapsed. We got two bull markets in 2013, then it collapsed. And now we can get three bull markets in 2017 slash 2018 and so that's I think is still possible uh, but um, at the same time um, I mean that's totally possible even if we have a six month correction and even if um, um, we get a typical a bear market correction then still we can very quickly go into a new bull market so um, for me when when would I risk the fiat I took out back into crypto markets well, only when people are not optimistic anymore, uh, uh, when people uh, have been uh, punished severely for their, uh, for their perma bull behavior. Uh, and that's not the case yet. Eh? I mean, 8,000 US dollar or market cap total now is 380 billion. It corrected to 200, uh, what was it? 80 billion, something like that. And so it's back up 100 billion. But this is still way above where we started one year ago at 30 billion. And we went to 750 billion, now corrected to 300 billion. We're back at 400 billion. I mean, I mean, uh, perma bulls have still been greatly rewarded today, uh, even though uh, um, many people lost 50% of their portfolio. Uh, still, they are way, 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 way up. So, um, uh, basically, all the people that entered in the second bull market, uh, I think, uh, uh, may see uh, 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 negative returns before we get the third bull market. Uh, and so, the second bull market started basically at 300 billion. No, it started at, um, at uh, lower, at 200 billion. 
so I think uh, this bear market will uh, dip below 200 billion and will uh, touch 3000 US dollars for Bitcoin and so means that we still have a good leg down to go but first we can go up a little so uh, or, or, or considerably we can go up before we continue the fall uh, and, and then still uh, we might see when we hit that 3000 for Bitcoin, uh, it might be going sideways shortly and then a new bar bull market may enter. But this is only for in, in, a, in a couple of months at the earliest. That's my estimate. And then uh, other interesting things, market dominance of Bitcoin should go up a lot right now uh, but it's not uh, it, ethereum continues to gain market share versus bitcoin in a bear market this is totally new huh? and uh, confirms what i've been saying uh, for uh, m for the past year that uh, bitcoin is a high risk investment and, and 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 because the fundamentals are not good anymore high transaction fees is not a good thing and um people then say yeah but now the transaction fees are down uh, again, to only 20 cents, yeah, but only 20 cents is still high. Um, and um, and also, like, uh, the amount of transactions is collapsing on the Bitcoin network. Uh, I mean, this is an endless discussion with people that are for Bitcoin and for the Bitcoin core uh, decisions. Uh, so, yeah. But I noticed that in the in the cryptocurrency community, and many of my viewers are very very negative about Bitcoin Cash and uh, love to use uh, the insulting name B Cash, and and love to uh, spew lies about uh, and misrepresentations about Roger Ver, huh? uh, uh, and and uh, you know it's your choice. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, but I've learned a long time ago in life that. Um, Name calling people and um, and 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 and, and badmouthing people uh, and even uh, bullying people uh, does not lead to success in the long term for yourself. Uh, so it's your choice. So so Ethereum is catching up with Bitcoin. Will likely become the biggest uh, coin in, um, in 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 the crypto world this year. Uh, it doesn't matter whether we're in a bear market uh, or a bull market. Uh, the evidence is there even during a bear market uh ethereum is just catching up with bitcoin so and i noticed also in my daily crypto life like when you want to invest uh, well these days you can better hold ethereum than bitcoin uh, because ethereum uh, is also accepted by all icos liquidity on many trading pairs is higher for ethereum um, the fees actually are also going up for ethereum it's a bad thing uh, but uh, they did such an amazing job, uh, the Ethereum team, and, and, and they deserve uh, the first spot and they will get it. Um, but this will change the landscape dramatically because suddenly you will get a crypto world uh, and not longer a Bitcoin world. Hmm? This is very important. It's going to become very important because people will start to look at the whole space differently. Like Bitcoin will not get that privileged position anymore that it still has today where it is a, a given that you first invest in Bitcoin and then maybe you can start investing in some other things too. This will go away. Um, and so, um, uh, but many other things will go away too and, and you can see it happening today. Uh, merchants drop off the map. Many, 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 many companies that were accepting Bitcoin or using Bitcoin just drop it and, and you see that Bitcoin Cash is picking up that. Uh, many of the uh, merchants, they do start to that have stopped accepting Bitcoin while they stay out some, but uh, some also just start accepting Bitcoin cash. Um, so, um, uh, and, and, and um, yeah, this is just a fact. Huh? Now, pe people that support Bitcoin Core are very positive about uh, Lightning Network and, and this can be a success. Huh? Uh, but, but you can see that um, even if it's a success, it won't make up the damage it has been doing, uh, these high transaction fees. And it's, um, that's, that's just how it is. Uh, even if Lightning Network uh, uh, works and, and transaction fees become uh, uh, low, well, they're low. Um, lower again and not, are not a couple of dollars but only a couple, 
Never mind, I don't want to waste my time on this discussion. So, um, in any case, I think that, that um, you know, you have to stay polite uh, also to your competitors. Uh, this is really not, uh, not okay to uh, call people names or project names. Uh, I see many people do that from the Monero community towards other communities. Uh, and I see it in the Bitcoin community. Many do that towards other coins. You know, it's not okay, you know. And I, for me, it's enough reason to not be part of that community and of that project. I don't believe in that at all. That's not justice. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I can see the str there are strong points for for what the decisions. I mean, there there, there are rational ar arguments to be given why off-chain scaling is better than on-chain scaling. I can see those arguments, um, but uh, but yeah, there's no no need to to call names, and it's so bad in crypto world that be people don't even realize they are name calling when they call Bitcoin Cash B Cash. Some of these people. They have even no idea that they are actually using um, um, degenerative uh, language uh, about a project. So it's it's gotten so bad. So there's such a very strong um, group in the cryptocurrency community against Bitcoin Cash and for uh, uh, trashing and 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 and, and bad mouthing uh, that team. But uh, I've seen this all before, guys. <laughs> it's nothing new to me. Uh, the same happened with um, Apple uh, team um, uh, trash uh, named uh, doing the same versus Microsoft. Uh, in the end, Microsoft won 99% of the market from Apple. Or uh, Goldberg's doing the same about Bitcoin uh, five years back. Well, you know, they totally lost out. Uh, so um, it seems like... Uh, and also uh, somebody asked me why I like controversial uh, Bitcoin cash. But there is also a strong financial argument to be given for that. If it's controversial, it means that, well, not many people support it, not many people invest in it. Uh, and so if you prove to be right later on, well, then um, you're going to make a lot of money because you were able to buy something uh, rather cheap because many people don't like it. Um, and that's the same case of Bitcoin Cash today for me. Uh, this bear market is punishing Bitcoin Cash. It continues to drop versus Bitcoin. Uh, and so in fiat value it was corrected also a lot uh, but this is well we will see it but if the bear market uh, continues and we get new lows it might become an interesting buy in my personal opinion um, in contrast to Bitcoin I really think uh, <laughs> Bitcoin mar uh, dom market dominance is 35 percent it stays there eh? it's not it's not it's not gaining back market dominance in this bear market um, I think uh, it's going to look uh, very bad in one year, the market dominance of Bitcoin. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, if you have a bull or a bear market. Um, on the other hand, uh, Ethereum likely will be up from here in market dominance and many others too, like Bitcoin Cash, I think. Thanks so much for watching and I wish you all a great winter.